tell me about personal interactions with Vince McMahon. What was he like uh, behind the stage? Was he, he was your project on TV, but was he your project behind the scenes as well? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. It was very uh, business-like with Vince, you know? I mean, yeah, we cut jokes and laughed with them like when we were waiting to do vignettes because we did a lot of vignettes with them backstage. But um, it was, you know, it wasn't like we were playing grab ass. Like some of these guys have really close relationships. And looking back on it now, if I can change something, I wish I would have went out of my way to try to grow a little bit more of a personal relationship with Vince McMahon. Um, you know, um, because I think, because, you know, he's, he's the boss. He writes the show. You know, I mean, yeah, they got writers and stuff like that. But by the end of the day, he makes a decision. And um, so I think I would have wished uh, I had the more experience and the whereabouts to create a little bit more of a relationship with them. But um, no, I didn't really see, uh, just see much of him, just what we did work-wise and everything like that. But he was a blast, you know, and uh, very passionate about what he did, you know, and great guy to learn from, you know, uh, definitely picked his brain, asked questions while we were just waiting around. Um, just really, truly a, gen a genius. Mm -hmm. What about Triple H? What was it like working with him? Uh, yeah, Triple H was great, man. I mean, working with both Sean and Triple H um, really, uh, I feel like, taught me how to um, work uh, like a main eventer, like work like a top guy, you know, especially when you work guys that are over. Like, you know, you don't have to do nearly as much to them as, uh, you know, looking back, when we were getting heat on Shawn Michaels, a lot of the times we were beating the hell out of them. But we didn't have to do I look back on it, man, we, we did so much, you know, we we didn't physically have to do nearly as much because he was just so over, you know, but uh, you know, working with Hunter was awesome. It was great. He's, I mean, he's a true pro. Um, again, just, uh, you know, we went out there and we called matches in the ring. We just listened to him and just learn, but you can just see like how um, you can just see what, like how they just, how slow they go and how they take their time and like how less means more, you know, and like, that's when a light bulb for me like went off and was like, Oh, okay. You know, we, we don't have to go a million miles an hour and uh, you can feel the people with every punch, you know, with every high spot that you do with him. And he was always a step ahead whenever he calls stuff. So I really learned how to call um, stuff like that in the ring. And I was like, okay. Cause I knew how to call a match in the ring at that point. Um, I was over prepared. I think I can do it. No problem. But just to see how he would do it. Like it was just so smooth, you know, and you could really take a broomstick and really like just lead you through water, you know, and like take you uh, take you through a match. Um, yeah, just uh, just a, yeah, just a pro. You know, Hunter's great, you know. He, um, he you know he deserved that, all the success that he had, man. He, he really is. He's definitely really really talented, really good. How does it come to an end for the Spirit Squad? I mean, I, I'm sure. Like they, like they're going to tell you it's timing. But I mean, do they sit you down and say, okay, this is your date that's worth sending you back uh, to, to OBW? I mean, I, what, what was what were those conversations like? Because that, that had to suck. Yeah, it did. You know, and I always thought the Spirit Squad had a longer run, you know, than what we had. But they were, they were telling us weeks at a time, you know, like, all right, guys, you know, this is coming to an end. All right, guys, you know, this is coming to an end, you know. And, uh, but we didn't really know when. You know, they were, I, don't, I don't think they knew. They were just taking it week by week. And then one day we got the TV and it was like, all right, guys, this is it. You know, this is what we're going to do. Um, they uh, did a vignette or something like that. And I know the, you know the famous, I don't know if you remember, back to OVW box, yeah. which was originally supposed to say Tijuana, <laughs> that sign. Um, but Hunter thought it would be funny if, uh, he's like, yeah, you know, it wouldn't be funny if... Uh, because I remember him saying this to me, he's like, if we put back to OVW, because like Mitch couldn't wrestle, couldn't work. And obviously Mitch was going to go back down the developmental to get more seasoning and grooming. And I'm like, uh, oh yeah, Hunter, <laughs> that's, that's a great idea. Not knowing the uh, reality of it is that it's not just Mitch in there, it's all five of us. So we all look right. like going back, you know what I'm saying? So that was, uh, you know... Uh, again, that's if I had more experience and more balls back that's, then, that's the wrestling like, business, though, Mike. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. That wrestling like, business. Mm -hmm. And like, um, yeah. What do you do? What do you say? You know? And what do you, what do, you do? Maybe, maybe I should have said something. You know, I wish I, if I, if I knew what I knew now, I would have been like, hey, well, the illusion is that we're all getting sent in there, so maybe uh, we can stick with the Tijuana for sign. You know, at least that's a little bit more. And who knows, man? People still bring that up. You know, back to OVW, whatever. And I'm, just like yeah um 
you know, because you don't, you don't, you don't, you only want to keep going up. You don't want to, you know, obviously reverse and go back down, you know, but uh, that's what happened, you know. So uh, career went on after that. But yeah, but to answer the question, there was no pinpoint set date when uh, the squad was going to end. It was just kind of on the fly.